Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate refund fraction and the interest refund. Let's look at this question. A loan of 12 months with interest of $217 is paid in full with four payments remaining. Find the refund fraction for the interest refund and then the interest refund. Formula to find refund fraction is equal to sum of digits for number of payments remaining divided by sum of the digits for total number of payments. So as per our question, in the numerator, sum of the digits for number of payments remaining, we're going to do equal 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 divided by the sum of digits for total number of payments, which is equal to 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 all the way to plus 1. So this seems like a very lengthy process, but I'm going to show you a shortcut in order to calculate the numerator and the denominator. So for instance, here you have four months remaining. So instead of doing four plus three plus two plus one, what you can do is four multiplied by five divided by two. This will give you the same answer as you doing four plus three plus two plus one. You can check it in your calculator. So this is the quicker way to find the same answer. For the denominator, you'll do the same thing. 12 multiplied by 13 divided by 2. So in your calculator, you should get 78. Now using this information, you can calculate your refund fraction, which will be 10 divided by 78. Now you have found your refund fraction. What about the interest refund? Since the total interest here is 217, you will multiply 10 by 78 into 217. So this should give you $27.82. So this is the interest that will be refunded. And this is being refunded because instead of paying the loan over a duration of 12 months, you have paid this loan in eight months. Hence, you're getting a refund back of $27.82. And so this is how you can apply the formula to find the refund fraction and the interest refund amount. 